Okay guys, look, I'm back at Big Lots because <laughs> I had to show Mama B. Say hi, Mama B. Hi, I'm going crazy. Yeah, there's so many beautiful, beautiful things. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get this reindeer. He's super sparkly. Let me zoom into him. He's all sparkly. What? She's going crazy. Another sparkly tree. <laughs> there's so many pretty things. Like I love this pillow. Mom, did you see this pillow, the gray ones? Did you see that mat for your house? Oh, they didn't have that last time I was here. I think I have one from last year though that looks like that from Target. They added some things since last time I was here. But I think I'm gonna get this too for under the tree. It's fuzzy. Oh, see, yeah, they didn't have those last time. Cute, yeah, I definitely want those. They're only $6. You guys, if you have like a gray bling theme in your house, you have to come here. And look at this for Mama Bee's house. Yeah, because Mama Bee's is more like country, so these things are super cute for her house. Oh my goodness, super cute. Mama Bee said we had to show you this one. Tell me she isn't cute. She's all blinged out. <laughs> <laughs> and these are where I got my little candle holders for my bedroom. Oh, even nice tablecloths. What? What, you just love that one? It's all it's blingy. Blinged. It's pretty. It's pretty for even the kitchen, you know, like oh, by yeah. the sink. To put by the sink, yeah. Yeah, that one's beautiful. <laughs> I'm dying. So funny. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Hello. We are at In-N-Out Burger for lunch. Mama V's already enjoying over there. We rarely, I mean, I probably go to In-N-Out once a year and because I don't eat a lot of meat, but I got a cheeseburger with no onions, tomato and lettuce, I guess, and then Diet Coke, obviously. I'll show you, it looks mega delicious. And we just went to Marshall's, and you saw us at Big Lots, looking at all the Christmas stuff. I'll make sure to show you guys what I got. There is my yummy burger. And we're sharing some of the fries. Yeah. Today I'm meeting a friend at this Thai restaurant in Gilbert. It's on Higley and Ray if you live here. It's supposed to be really good. I looked at the reviews on Yelp and she actually knows the owner. So I will show you what I end up getting, possibly, <laughs> when I go inside. Yummy. You guys are the best. I just got two packages in the P.O. box from amazing subscribers that sent us treats to try for Try It Tuesday. Okay, so the first one here is from Pam. Hi, Pam, thank you so much for the beautiful note and for these goodies. I'm so excited to try them. So these first ones are pumpkin spice wafer cookies. Um, let's try and focus, there we go. Limited edition. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I love these. I love these cookies. When I was little, I used to always eat the strawberry ones. They're my favorite. And then I haven't even seen any of these of the candy she sent. Hershey's Caramel Apple Filled Milk Chocolate. What? Yum. I love the packaging too. Look at that cute little bunny hiding behind the apples. And then and Coffee Nut M&Ms, which apparently is a winning flavor. Oh my gosh, we definitely need to film this ASAP because I want to eat those so bad, but I am gonna wait for Mama Bee. This I can't promise to wait for Mama Bee on <laughs> because I have been searching high and low for this and oh my goodness, look at this beautiful card first of all. I'm trying to get it out one-handed. It's Chevron and Rose Gold. Where did you get these? Because I love them. And she sent me such a beautiful, beautiful note as well. Thank you so much. Annette. 
Thank you, Annette. I really, really appreciate you going out of your way and mailing me the Boom Chicka Pop Pumpkin Spice Kettle Corn. I have been looking all over for this. I cannot find it anywhere. Some of you have found it here in Arizona at Fry's, but I've been to my Fry's so many times and it's still not there, so I'm really excited about that. And the UPS guy just dropped off a package very conspicuously, so let's go and see what that is. Got some super cute packages in the mail. So first one is this one from Too Faced. Look how cute that is. The packaging, I can't even. Okay, so now you open it. It says the mascara that changed the world and it has the better than sex mascara. And then these adorable little pins. I love the lashes. <laughs> so cute. Thank you, Too Faced. And then I got my October play box in, and I'm not gonna lie, I snuck a peek. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneaky peeky. Um, there's one product in here that I've already tried out. Actually, I've already tried out two things. I kind of feel like I need to try things out though before I show you guys, <laughs> even if it I'm gonna do an unboxing. Okay, focus. Okay, this is what I tried on. It's the Smashbox Stay Matte Lipstick, and I wrote the name on it because it's not on the packaging. Driver's Seat is the color. I will show you on my lips in a moment. Don't mind my nails. I am gonna attempt to go tomorrow to get them done because they are way overgrown. But you guys know I really like these, so I'm excited that I don't have this color, and it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm attempting to get some good lighting in my kitchen for this, but isn't that pretty? It's a fun one. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Kylie one I had in my favorites, but darker. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and say we watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show on TV, not the original movie. They did like a remake on Fox today, and it was really, it, I think they did a really good job. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show is not like my favorite movie really like I don't know it's never really been my cup of tea for some reason um, it's it's a crazy show it's a really crazy movie but I think the girl that played Janet on the TV one did a really good job I loved seeing Adam Lambert in it even though it was way too short of a part for him <laughs> and the guy that plays Rocky is obviously very hot um, but it was fun. It was fun. I, I watched it with my parents. My mom's like was super into it and I prefer to just watch Hocus Pocus like every single night until Halloween. Actually, Hocus Pocus and um, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> I don't really watch Nightmare Before Christmas at Christmas time. I only watch it at Halloween. Um, so I feel like it has more of a Halloween feel. I know there's some people that will watch it both times of year, but not, not me so much. And then the only like scary movies I watch are on actual Halloween when I'm handing out candy to kids. I'll like have Michael Myers movies on. I don't wanna talk about it because <laughs> the darkness over there scares the crap out of me. You guys know this. I know I need to get cover, a cover for it, but I'm not willing to invest in that yet. Um, also, watched American Horror Stories yesterday. What is going on with that show? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it this season. I think I said this in the last vlog too. Um, it's been an interesting, I like, I like that they're trying something new, but at the same time, I don't know how I feel about them. If you didn't watch the episode this last week, skip a little bit forward. But I'm not really too keen on the whole like going back to the house. Like why would anyone in their right mind that experienced what they experienced on that blood moon night, why would you ever go back and press your luck again? You escaped with your life. Like there's no way in hell they couldn't pay me enough. Like your life is worth more than, what was it, like six figures I think someone said that they got. So go, they got, you know, it's fake, but I don't know about you guys, but there's no amount of money that would get me back into that house after what they experienced. Unless you don't care about your life and you're like, might as well risk it for some money, then maybe, but 
Otherwise, you could not get me anywhere near that location. They're, they're insane. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to quickly... Oh, I know what I want to show you. There is this amazing sangria wine from Costco, and you guys need it in your life. I'm going to go show you. Okay, so here she is. It's the Kirkland brand, so I believe you can only get this at Costco. Classic red sangria. Product of Spain. España. Which is where my family is from, by the way, if you didn't know that already. There is 6% alcohol in this. And it's huge. Like, let me show you. This is like a regular bottle of wine. That is not open, and it has a cute little... <laughs> cover on her. This is the yellow tail sweet red. Okay, so this is a regular bottle of wine and this is the Costco size sangria. Let me take this off so you can see. Yeah, she's a big mamma jamma. Um, be careful is all I gotta say because this is so fruity and delicious and amazing. You might have a few glasses too many and get intoxicated. So just forewarning you, it's so good, you will fall like off your chair. <laughs> Isn't that from a movie? What she's, what movie is that from? She's like, you'll, you're gonna fall off your chair, it's so funny. Oh, that's from The Holiday, the little girl, remember when he does Mr. Napkin Head and she says that, she's like, you're gonna, Amanda, you're gonna fall off your chair, it's so funny. <sighs> you guys, comment down below if you totally feel me and you remembered where that was from. Okay, anyways, just had to tell you. I don't know how expensive this is because we bought it in like a case. I'm not kidding. That's how much we love it. <laughs> we had it last weekend for the first time and we literally went back to Costco and bought a whole case of them to stock up for the holidays too. Like we are going to be all sangria out. This is a really good wine too, by the way. The Yellowtail Sweet Red Rue. I like my wine sweet. Can you tell? Um, I don't like to taste the strong alcohol content, but I do like to get, you know, a little tipsy here and there. So, this is your new best friend. Guys, look at my new nails. I love them so much. So she did a Jack Skellington accent nail for me. Isn't he so cute? It is on both of my ring fingers, so let me show you the other one. Here's the other one. He's just as cute. And then she did black nails with purple gradient glitter on the bottom going up. I really, really, really love them. Hey guys, so I'm, as you know, I just got my nails done. I freaking love them. She did such a good job with my little Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. You guys know I'm obsessed with that movie and yeah, just obsessed with everything Jack and Sally. Like, I love them so much. They're like one of my favorite Disney couples. <laughs> That's so silly to say, but it's the truth. And this little kink in my hair, do you see this? Ugh, I should have straightened it before I left the house, but I was kind of rushing because I spent way too much time on my makeup this morning, which it probably doesn't even look like it, but it was just one of those days where my brows weren't working with me and yeah, getting things even. I think they look pretty even now though, luckily. Um, I'm picking up my friend Olivia. We're gonna go to lunch. And I have a big bag of makeup for my coworkers. So I'm gonna give them that too. Um, Cause if there's like stuff that I maybe swatched once um, or tried and I didn't like, I give that to like my friends and family and coworkers. Or sometimes I'll give them stuff that's unopened too as well. But like I'll save the un most of the unopened stuff I save for you guys for giveaways if I don't use it. So yeah, like if I do a declutter ever and stuff like that, I usually just give it to friends and family. Sometimes I'll sell some of it on Poshmark, which I did post a lot of random stuff and clothes and a few makeup items so far on my Poshmark account and I will have it linked down below for you. It's an app, so you do have to download the app, but I believe I have like, if you use my code, you get $10 towards like your first purchase on Poshmark. Um, and all my stuff is super gently used and like in great condition, so. Like I'm very meticulous about keeping my things in pristine condition any of my family. It probably drives them a little nuts. 
when I was younger I was the same exact way and I kept everything like in their little space like in their like little dust bags if it's a purse or anything like that like I am a little bit OCD about those kind of things um, what else I feel like I was gonna tell you guys something else but it's I guess not it's 99 degrees today seriously God like are you trying to torture me because it's working literally working 99 degrees and it's October what's today's date is it the 20th today I'm pretty sure it's the 20th today and it's 99 degrees what in the F I'm not feeling it guys I'm not feeling it So this beauty just came in the mail. I didn't open her yet, you'll see her very soon. And this 39 slot organizer for my Alex 9 drawer came in as well from the beauty box, original beauty box. So I am doing a crazy deep cleanse right now. Let me show you this as well really quick though. So this has, this little box here has inspired me to do my declutter or start to do it. Um, also Paracone sent me some goodies. Thank you so much to Paracone. Um, they sent their cold plasma eye and their cold plasma moisturizer, or it's not a moisturizer, cold plasma daily nutrients. Let me just tell you, Paracone is expensive AF. So expensive and we rarely got gratis at Sephora from Paracone so this is like such an amazing luxury to have these products to try out for you guys so thank you thank you thank you okay so let's go over here um don't mind the reindeer on the ground because I have a haul to do for Christmas decor so this is what a hot freaking mess <laughs> my room is at the moment because I'm it's gonna take me hours and hours to get this all together. But once I do, do my like, declutter everything that I wanna declutter and get it all situated, I'll do another makeup room slash makeup collection video. I think I'm probably gonna have to separate those because makeup collection videos take hours to film and edit just with just showing the makeup, so. I'll have to do a separate video like showing the room itself. And I'm so sorry I still don't have the home tour up. You guys, it's taking me forever to edit it and do the voiceover and everything for it. But I'm so sorry. I keep promising you it's going to go up, but it will. I do have it filmed and halfway edited. Um, I probably should be editing right now instead of doing this declutter, but I'm just so inspired that I just want to start doing it now. All right, so I made some progress. <laughs> You guys, I didn't realize how many lip products I have until I cleaned out my collection just now, and it is insane. So I'm definitely going on a lip product no buy unless, you know, I'm sent something, then obviously I'll try it, but I really should not buy lipstick or lip gloss ever again. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over these just very briefly with you, but see, this little area has changed. I used to have both, like one of these over there, but now my beauty box, my original beauty box is there. And then over here, I have some more lip products. I kind of want to have them all out in a certain area just so I can see them. But I also have lip products in this drawer. Look at this, this is insane. It only goes up until here though, it's not in the back. Um, most of these are my drugstore lipsticks. Um, yeah, like all of these are drugstore. This row right here though is Laura Geller and Lorac, like up to here, so those are high end. And then I do have like a couple, ben not Benefit, um, Bare Minerals lipsticks right here, and there's a few in the back. Here's also some Bite Beauty and some It Cosmetics lipsticks, but most of these are drugstore. So yeah, I have a whole drawer of lipsticks there. Then I'll be doing a collection soon for you guys, but here I have like my Chubby Stick pencil lipsticks and then like the Skinnier pencil lipsticks and then a few lipsticks that I want to kind of I kind of displayed a few that I want to start using 
And then here is my new beauty. I love her. She's so pretty. So I have my colorful liners up top with a Kylie lip kit. And then this drawer is stuffed with nude lip glosses. These are only lip glosses. Nude, like pinky lip glosses. And then peachy pinks and corals. And then in this one, th this one is not as packed because it's like brighter pinks. And, sorry, the TV's on in the background if you can hear it. And then reds and plummy kind of colors and deeper color lip glosses. And then in this one, I have a few of my limited edition MAC skin finishes. My two strobing powders from Moon Play. And then I have my Cover FX highlighters. And then I have all of these It Cosmetics bronzers that are not open yet, but I thought they looked really, really pretty. I have my really pretty blushes from Milani that are rose, the rose blushes. And then this bronzer that I love from Too Faced. So pretty much this is all bronzers and then some pretty blushes. <laughs> so that's it in my original beauty box. And then these two are Muji drawers and I have MAC lipsticks in the first two drawers then I have some of my really like high-end lipsticks like I have some NARS, Chanel, um, Dior, Tory Burch, Tom Ford. I only have one Tom Ford in my collection. I love it. Some more Dior, some Tarte in the back there. This is um, Hourglass, Lancome. So just a few high-end stuff and then some more high-end ones. I have Tarte in the back there, YSL, more YSL. These are Estee Lauder in the back here, Burberry and Marc Jacobs. And then we get into all my liquid lipsticks. So these are all my drugstore liquid lipsticks. And then I have a bunch of the Melteds from Too Faced, some more Melteds from Too Faced, and a few Ofra and other miscellaneous long wear lipsticks all my Ofra it's getting a little full that drawer is getting a little crazy and then some more high end liquid lipsticks I have more Ofra back there Stila, Merle Norman, YSL and then I have a few of the Amore matte metallic Milani liquid lipsticks then I have a few Jeffree Star which I hate the smell of these they smell like cough syrup like cherry cough syrup it's horrid I really wish he would change the scent. I love the packaging though. Smashbox, Lime Crime, which you will never see in my collection ever. I don't talk about Lime Crime on my channel. Even though I love their packaging, I do like the product because I don't support that brand. Um, Kylie Cosmetics, Liquid Lipsticks, Anastasia of Beverly Hills, Kat Von D, and then a few miscellaneous ones from ColourPop, Hourglass, and Bite Beauty. So that is it for this little area that I have organized. <laughs> Who's it here this? Drop, drop, Sandor, drop, good boy, drop. Two things just came in the mail. This beautiful YSL perfume. It's so feminine looking. Isn't that so beautiful? With the light pink and the black bow detail. And then it says YSL on the bow. Sorry, it's taking a second to focus. There it is. And this is the box it comes in. And I did get this off of octilly.com for review purposes. And so it has notes of Peony Accord, White Musk, Detora Accord, and Patchouli Essence. It's a very, like, fresh, sweet floral scent. It's definitely up my alley. And it's called Mon Paris. Mon Petit? <laughs> I'm so sorry I butchered that, I'm sure. But it's very beautiful. And then also, Ofra has some new lippies for fall. Um, let's see what they said here. These gorgeous shades are named after famous wine capitals around the world. They consist of rose, cabernet, and plum hues, perfect for the upcoming fall and winter season. Woo woo. Okay, so this first one, 
I think this is another one of their metallics. Okay, so this first one looks like a new metallic duochrome one. It's called Napa Valley. I'll swatch these in a second for you. Looks like there's also a set of three long-lasting liquid lipsticks. This is called the Vintage Vineyard Collection, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you right now. The very left one, Napa Valley. Then we have the more neutral, beautiful, deeper neutral in the shade Tuscany. Then we have Bordeaux, which is that gorgeous deep one right there. And then the pinkish shade, the berry pink, is called Cape Town. Really beautiful, as always. Ofra always does an amazing job. Okay, this is kind of random, but I wanted to mention this as well. This is the Real Techniques Diamond Shaped Sponge. I have been absolutely loving this, and it'll probably be in my favorites. This month, I just cleaned her. She's a little dirty on the top still, though, because she's kind of stained. I use it a lot on the top to kind of stamp on my foundation, and it's so soft and pliable, but I love that it has all these different surfaces because you can do cream blush on one side, foundation on the top, concealer. You can use it for so much, and I love that it has this little point because it really gets into your inner eye area. I'll be speaking about it again soon probably, but I just wanted to quickly mention it. I'll put a photo next to here so you can see what it looks like in the package. Um, but it's pretty inexpensive, definitely more inexpensive than a beauty blender. And I'm really happy I got the chance to try it out. Octilly did send me it probably a month ago, and I've been using it ever since. So here is what I've decluttered so far in my collection. I will be posting some of these on Poshmark.com. Again, I will leave a link down below. Not all of this though, like a lot of those lip glosses, I'm going to see if a family or friend wants them. I'm never gonna give lip gloss away to someone. I just don't think that's, I don't know, the most sanitary. My like, you know, like my mom, grandma, a few best friends, I don't think they would care. But I would never send those to you guys. But like the, some of the lipsticks, possibly, if you see one that interests you. Um, these mineral foundation sticks. I was saving all these colors to put in my kit, but I don't want to keep saving them. They're about a year old at this point, and I would rather someone get use out of them. I have all these different shades. Um, I just don't do freelancing enough to warrant keeping them. And then I have like a bunch of Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses, some liners, um, a bunch of lip gloss, but really this is not that much. I definitely will need to do another declutter. This was kind of just like the preliminary <laughs> declutter. I have some liquid liners. This is a cake liner from Laura Mercier. It's about a year old, but I've never touched it because it's like a dark blue. These liners are really great. I used to use them a lot at, at um, Sephora, but I've just never used that, and I don't want it sitting in my collection anymore. Uh, I might save this one for a giveaway because I haven't touched it. We'll see, this Tease Little Palette, Pacifica Palette, a NYX Palette. I love, I really love the packaging of these, but these colors don't really speak to me, so I haven't touched them at all yet. So, I have that. This was, I think this came in a boxy charm recently. Um, I just don't need that. I have a ton of, same thing with this Pop Beauty one. It is pretty, I just really don't need it with all the highlights and blush and contour I have. This, I think someone's definitely gonna want this. I'm gonna put it on Poshmark. It's last year's Tarte Holiday Kit, and I've maybe used it a handful of times because I did a review on it, and it literally has sat in the drawer this entire year, and I haven't touched it. And there is still the brush and the mascara in there that has not been opened or touched. Um, it's, a, it's a really, now here's some of the blushes. I really should do more of a declutter on my blushes, but this is what I have so far that I'm taking on my collection. This is a Trina Tarantino blush, Rouge Bunny Rouge blush, a Lorac one. This is the color Hollywood? Yeah, Hollywood. And this is a Isaac Misrahi product. Okay, that's enough of talking about that. I just wanted to quickly show you because I figured you guys might be interested in seeing what I decluttered. Um, I was just having way too much fun on Snapchat. They have the cutest Halloween filters right now. Um, if you have Snapchat, you have to go play with them. They're so much fun. I will insert some pictures right here of me like being silly um, playing with them. Oh, I need to show you my spider earrings. Look at how adorable they are. I think I got them last year, so I might have showed you them last year. But I love them. And you guys know I'm petrified of spiders, but these earrings are just too cute for... Halloween. All right, guys, I am going to go and edit.
I'm not even hungry and it's dinner time, so I'm probably gonna wait an hour or two. And I might go to Starbucks before I start editing because I am so tired. Like literally I started falling asleep watching Dirty Dancing just now. I don't know what's wrong with me today and my wild hair. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next week. Love you.